Hello, Magic here, and today we're going to be continuing off in Sengoku Gensokyo. So, in the last episode, um, pretty much, um, we were fighting for territory because, you know, we made the whole game of us getting ter territory and all that. And then we did some battles with it, surprisingly, because it took so long to get to the battle point, but yeah. We showed it how to operate it, and um, thing is that it's not an easy game per se. They're not gonna slack off for us. We have to actually try. And if I understood what was going on beforehand, that would help too. Um, I'm gonna assume this is mine because it has the longest play time. Oh nope, this is at the longest play time. Okay. All right, let's see. So we did, we cleared one stage before ending it off. So we still have another left to go. So let's see if uh, summary members. So a few of our memories are pretty damaged, I would say. So let's let's try prison. Do we have anyone in prison? No, we do not. Okay, so event. Oh. Do we have any items to begin with? No, we do not. Alright, let's just turn end our turn now. I guess we did everything beforehand. Alright, let's continue on. Yep. Hmm. All right, no talking. It was another day, eh, another day to relax at the Hakurei Shrine with teacup in hand. At least it should be, but there was something uncomfortable in the air, and the matter providing the discomfort uh, was obvious. Hey, what? Give me a second. I'm gonna move the mic because it's blocking the text again. I forgot how low it was. I think this should be good now. What? How long are we going to let this be? It's not like I can do anything even if you asked me. It's just a bit of a bother. They could feel the glare aimed at them from behind a tree. She was probably trying to hide, but it wasn't very successful. Calling out to her didn't seem like it would make anything better either. She's looking at you. She must have some business with you. No, no, she's definitely looking at ya. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, I know you're. I know you're behind the tree. Just come out already. Her endurance for the facade had reached its limit, and she stood up and called out to the tree. After a short period of silence, the girl emerged from behind the tree. Huh? <laughs> Very observant of you to notice me hiding there. Observant? It was so obvious. Anyway, what are you here for, Alice? A smile started to form on the lips of the girl known as Alice. Her entire body was overflowing with a murderous, pressuring aura. What I'm here for, that's very simple. Whoa. Alice took one deftly glare at Marissa, glanced at Marissa, then turned back to Raymu and thrust her hand out at her. A single piece of paper laid on the palm of her hand. Raymu, Marissa, the force of magic team hereby declares war on you. What? Marissa yelped out in shock, earning yet another stare of ear from Alice. Alice's anger aimed, seemed to be aimed more towards Marissa than Raymu. Hey, what you so mad about? Are you seriously asking? Uh, uh, well, if that's how you're going to be, then that's, then that's even less reason for me to hold back. Prepare to be completely wiped out. With those parting words, Alice turned on her heels and left the shrine. The other two who were left dumbfounded at the cyclone that had just entered and left the area. So it was you she was looking at, huh? Just what did you do? I didn't do anything. You have to have done something for her to get that angry. Anyway, I guess we'll be fighting Alice now. At least we don't have to go through the trouble of declaring war ourselves. This whole thing is basically your fault, so make sure you take full responsibility for it. Raymu said a little more than she needed as usual, but Marissa took it with her usual optimism, seeming seemingly thinking that everything will work out in the end. Okay, we have another fight between another t group. These people. It's probably because of me. Hmm, are you finally regretting all the evil deeds you've done in your life? Do you have short-term memory loss or something? I'm talking about why she got so mad. Ah, yes, yes. Go clean up. Uh, go clean it up already. What are you talking about now? Huh? Was I off the mark again? 
I was thinking how pitiful she must be having to deal with a mountain of mushrooms at her entrance hallway. Who would do that kind of thing? Then just say it already, jeez. I'm guessing, I'm guessing she doesn't like me being here. Which means... I live in the forest after all. If we go with the map, I ought to team up for Alice. But in reality, I'm her enemy right now. That's probably why she's angry. I can see the logic in that. I never actually asked, why are you here anyway? Yukari said to herself that we could team up with anyone we wanted. Then I'm sure there were other people you could team up with besides Alice and myself. I just went with the one who had the best chance of winning this thing, according to my calculations. You know what? That's pretty good calculations. I would have to say, Reimu is a pretty good bet if you want to win something. Ah, that's how it is. That's rather cunning of you. Only just smart survive, don't you think? I said cunning, not smart. Reimu and Marissa had known each other for a long time, but there were differences in their points of view that both of them had, to, had yet to notice. Alright. Let's look at the... Event. Let's see. It doesn't really matter with this part. Let's see. Summary. Can I heal them? Uh, what would be a good idea to heal considering we took some beating? Oh, we have money, right? Yeah, we have money for that shit. Let's do it. I really am not in the mood to not heal up. Let's see if we can do anything with these guys. Oh, okay, good. Full heal, might as well. I want to fire. Oh, well, I'm sure we might have to in the future once we got a lot more units. So let's see. Let's see if we can do any events in the meantime. Develop? Might as well develop these two, right? If I understand it correctly. Okay, this should be good enough, I'm correct. Okay, that's good. Let's go back to the other one. Oh, event, develop. I forget what the, the, the what we're doing again does, but you know what, we work with that, we work with that. She has none, that's not really helpful. There you go. Okay. Safe, as always. Okay, back, and um, what are we gonna do? We can't really do much, can we? We'll have to end turn for now. Um, no, we don't have to do that. Let's end it for now. We should be good. Cutscene? Yes. Hmm. <laughs> that attitude of Marissa really irks me. Maybe I should pound some nails in. Yeah, that's not very... Nice, even to a doll, which you created and all that good shit. Alice sat in a chair, reading a book and grumbling to herself. The grumbling was apparently more important, as nothing she was reading was actually registering in her head. The two dolls looked at her worryingly. Trembo tremble. So that's Shanghai doll, and that's the Horai doll. At least there's some. At least you could tell there's a difference between them. Uh, I don't. I don't know if they have a cannon look. I, I think they should have. I'll have to check. Like you know, if they go back to Wiki and see. Okay. All right. Very good dialogue between them. After their mysterious conversation, the Shanghai doll placed a teapot and cup onto a tray and headed towards Alice. The dolls were working out, worried about their master, but Alice was too busy being mad to notice. Bah. She's pretty much never liked him from the start either. Maybe she's trying to insinuate something. Both sweating. I don't think I didn't know dolls could sweat, but you know what? Learned something new. The tiny hands holding the tray were starting to tremble, but Alice was still unaware. The Horai doll, seeing that Shanghai doll looking so pitiful, decided to help and fly sh and flew straight into the back of Alice's head. Ow! What the? What was that for, Horai? Ah! Oh, I'm sorry, Shanghai. I didn't know you were here. Thank you for the tea. Alice took the tray away from Shanghai, releasing the heavy load on her. Alice then poured the contents of the teapot onto the, into the cup and took a sip, clearing her mind a little bit. Phew! This won't do. I must be calmer. Now, how should I do this? The force is large, so I'll have to delegate duties. Alright, Shanghai, take care of the entrance. 
Horai, please guard the boundary. Shanghai and Horai accepted Alice's order with a nod. Although they looked meek and helpless, they were the best of the dolls that accomplished, accompanied Alice and were capable of actions even while away from their masters. I'll definitely win. Just you watch. Thus, she had one more reason to win at all costs. Her fight was about was just about to begin. Okay. Alice keep, kept referring to her army as us. I wonder who else is with her. She normally only has dolls with her. She's probably referring to those. The dolls? Isn't she the one controlling them with strings and such? Some of them have a bit of autonomy. I think she's researching, researching how to make a doll that thinks and moves fully on its own. So something like an artificial life form. That sounds way too ridiculous. Does she think she's a god? That's what I think too, but apparently people have seen her dolls like that before, and someone uh, we know has seen them too. Who? That head maid that's always there whenever I go to take some books. Take, don't you mean steal? It's not about how it sounds, hey. Anyway, even people besides Alice have seen that sort of thing. Well, this is Gensokyo after all. Thus, it wouldn't be weird if they really did exist. Right. As far as I know though, she's still a one woman show so she shouldn't be too hard to handle. People who nor would normally react to a remark like that, but to Marissa there wasn't anything special about what she just said. It may not be what people want to hear, but it was not something she particularly cared about. Alright, so we can attack now. Um, hmm. I guess we should finish it off. Uh, attacking wise, safe, 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 safe first. Don't fuck anything up. Okay, let's attack for now. Okay, let's pop in all of our units as always. Okay, that's good enough. What does Scout do? I can't remember. Oh, hell, let's just attack. Confirm, right? Yes. Let's see what we have to deal with. Hey, Reimu, don't you find this kind of weird? Just kind of. It's like nighttime now. And it was so bright just a little while ago. It ain't because of the time. Look, Marissa took about 10 steps away and her body was suddenly shining from the rays of the sun. Yet with, with more steps forward, all traces of the sunlight disappeared. Right, they did say that he recruited some darkness manipulating yokai. Yeah, it's gotta be Rumia. This has to be her power at work. This will be tough. Humans won't be able to see far in this, in this darkness. Ranged attack are going to be pretty badly affected. Mainly combat ain't my forte, but looks like I got, ain't, got, ain't gonna have a choice. At least have little, have these, at least these little tricks they're pulling is proof that they, we've driven them to a corner. Let's go and pressure them even more. All right, let's deal with the yokai army. All right. Wait. Can I still hit him though? All right, still could, still can. Should I? What's? I think. Range. No, it's weak. It's weak. It's weak. So it's Raymond's turn. She's pretty good on both sides. Nope, cannot. Alright, that was good damage right there. That was not good. Let's see. Can I hit? Alright, not bad, not bad. Uh, who can I hit? Nope, not good. Nope, now I want to risk melee. Let's go with range if we can afford to, especially for Marissa. Advance. Okay, some damage. 
Okay. Wait, I want to make sure. Alright, good. That's good damage. Alright. Ranged. Okay. Nope. Eh, not much damage, but we gotta make do with what we got, right? Alright, alright, Okay, I'm putting some damage, and then Ruma's almost dead. Uh, I'm almost out of counters, but I should be able to finish it off soon. Ah, uh, not much damage. Okay. Should be able to finish off pretty soon now, I think. Oh, perfect. Let's see, Raymu take out Rumia. And this one. Okay. Perfect. Victory. We take those. Well that but does it. Faintly dark path, alright. Capturing effort has progressed. Oh yeah, we had to click, I forgot about that. It doesn't automatically take us away. Received Wind Feather.